The Apostles' Creed Latin, Symbolum Apostolorum or Symbolum Apostolicum, sometimes entitled Symbol of the Apostles, is an early statement of Christian belief—a creed or symbol. It is widely used by a number of Christian denominations for both liturgical and catechetical purposes, most visibly by liturgical churches of Western tradition, including the Catholic Church, Lutheranism and Anglicanism. It is also used by Presbyterians, Methodists and Congregationalists. The Apostles' Creed is Trinitarian in structure with sections affirming belief in God the Father, Jesus Christ his Son and the Holy Spirit. The Apostles' Creed was based on Christian theological understanding of the canonical Gospels, the letters of the New Testament and to a lesser extent the Old Testament. Its basis appears to be the Old Roman Creed known also as the Old Roman Symbol. Because of the early origin of its original form, it does not address some Christological issues defined in the Nicene and other Christian creeds. It thus says nothing explicitly about the divinity of either Jesus or the Holy Spirit. This makes it acceptable to many Arians and Unitarians. Nor does it address many other theological questions which became objects of dispute centuries later. The earliest known mention of the expression, Apostles' Creed occurs in a letter of AD 390 from a synod in Milan and may have been associated with the belief, widely accepted in the 4th century, that, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, each of the Twelve Apostles contributed an article to the Twelve Articles of the Creed. History the word symbolum, standing alone, appears around the middle of the 3rd century in the correspondence of St. Cyprian and St. Fermilia, the latter in particular speaking of the creed as the symbol of the Trinity, and recognizing it as an integral part of the rite of baptism. The title Symbolum Apostolicum symbol or creed of the apostles appears for the first time in a letter, probably written by Ambrose, from a council in Milan to Pope Suritius in about AD 390. Let them give credit to the Creed of the Apostles, which the Roman Church has always kept and preserved undefiled." But what existed at that time was not what is now known as the Apostles' Creed but a shorter statement of belief that, for instance, did not include the phrase, "...maker of heaven and earth," a phrase that may have been inserted only in the 7th century. The account of the origin of this creed, the forerunner and principal source of the Apostles, Creed, as having been jointly created by the Apostles under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, with each of the twelve contributing one of the articles, was already current at that time. The earlier text evolved from simpler texts based on Matthew 28, verse 19, part of the Great Commission, and it has been argued that it was already in written form by the late 2nd century, c. 180, while the individual statements of belief that are included in the Apostles. Creed, even those not found in the Old Roman symbol, are found in various writings by Irenaeus, Tertullian, Novatian, Marcellus, Rufinus, Ambrose, Augustine, Nicetas, and Eusebius Gallus. The earliest appearance of what we know as the Apostles' Creed was in the De Singulus Libris Canonis Ascaripsis, excerpt from individual canonical books, of St. Perminius, Migni, Patrologia Latina 89, 1029 ff, written between 710 and 714. Bettinson and Maunder state that it is first from Dicta Abatis Pyrmini de Singulus Libris Canonisus Scarapsis item quad excerpsis, excerpt, c. 750. This longer creed seems to have arisen in what is now France and Spain. Charlemagne imposed it throughout his dominions, and it was finally accepted in Rome, where the old Roman symbol or similar formulas had survived for centuries. It has been argued nonetheless that it dates from the second half of the 5th century, though no earlier, as can be seen from various creeds all quoted in full below, although the original Greek and Latin creeds both specifically refer to the resurrection of the flesh Sarcos Anastasin and Carnus Resurrectionum, the versions used by several churches, like the Roman Catholic Church, the Church of England, Lutheran churches and Methodist churches, talk more generally of the resurrection of the body. Some have suggested that the Apostles' Creed was spliced together with phrases from the New Testament. For instance, the phrase descended ad inferos, he descended into hell, echoes Ephesians chapter 4 verse 9, catabi ice ta catotera meretes jes, he descended into the lower earthly regions. 
It is of interest that this phrase first appeared in one of the two versions of Rufinus in AD 390 and then did not appear again in any version of the Creed until AD 650. This phrase and that on the communion of saints are articles found in the Apostles' Creed, but not in the Old Roman symbol nor in the Nicene Creed. Topic musical settings Topic Musical settings of the Symbolum Apostolorum is a motet or rare. The French composer Le Brun published one Latin setting in 1540, and the Spanish composer Fernando de los Infantas published two in 1578. More recently, in 1979 John Michael Talbot, a Third Order Franciscan, composed and recorded Creed on his album, The Lord's Supper. In 1986 Graham Kendrick published the popular We Believe in God the Father, closely based on the Apostles' Creed. Rich Mullins and Beaker also composed a musical setting titled Creed, released on Mullins' 1993 album A Liturgy, A Legacy, and a Ragamuffin Band. The song Creed on Petra's 1990 album Beyond Belief is loosely based on the Apostles' Creed. Gia Publications published a hymn text in 1991 directly based on the Apostles' Creed, called I Believe in God Almighty. It has been sung to hymn tunes from Wales, the Netherlands, and Ireland. In 2014, Hillsong released a version of the Apostles' Creed under the title This I Believe the Creed on their album No Other Name. Keith Getty and Kristen Getty released an expression of the Apostles' Creed under the title We Believe Apostles' Creed on their 2016 album Facing a Task Unfinished. Topic text in Latin topic topic text in Greek topic the Greek text is not normally used in Greek and Eastern Orthodox churches. Topic English translations. Topic Topic. Ecumenical version Topic. The English Language Liturgical Consultation is an international ecumenical group whose primary purpose is to provide ecumenically accepted texts for those who use English in their liturgy. In 1988 it produced a translation of the Apostles' Creed, distinguished among other things by its avoidance of the word his in relation to God. The text is as follows. Topic. Roman Catholic Church Topic. The Catechism of the Catholic Church gives the following English translation of the Apostles' Creed. In its discussion of the Creed, the Catechism maintains the traditional division into twelve articles, the numbering of which is given below. The English text used in the Mass of the Roman Rite is at right below. Topic. Articles 1-12 Topic. Pelbardus Ladislaus of Temesvar assigned one special phrase to each apostle, Peter 1, John 2, James, son of Zebedee 3, Andrew 4, Philip 5a, descended ad infernos, Thomas 5b, ascended ad Kalos, Bartholomew 6, Matthew 7, James, son of Alphaeus 8, Simon 9, Jude 10, Matthias 11 to 12. Topic. Articles 9 to 10. Topic. Anabaptist theologians fought for believers' baptism under reference to a biblical understanding of the Creed. Lenhart, which of the articles of the Creed deal with baptism? Hans, the ninth and tenth articles, where we confess the universal Christian Church, the fellowship of the saints and forgiveness of sins, just as the Lord's Supper is also included there. Topic. Church of England Topic. In the Church of England there are currently two authorized forms of the Creed, that of the Book of Common Prayer 1662 and that of Common Worship 2000. Topic. Lutheran Church Topic. Topic. Evangelical Lutheran Worship Topic. The publication Evangelical Lutheran Worship gives the ELLC ecumenical version, footnoting the phrase, He descended to the dead, to indicate the alternative reading, or He descended into hell, another translation of this text in widespread use. Topic. Lutheran Service Book Topic. The Lutheran Service Book has the following text. 
The creed is footnoted in the LSB for the word Christian. Christian, the ancient text reads Catholic, meaning the whole Church as it confesses the wholeness of Christian doctrine. Topic: <laughs> Church of Denmark. Topic. The Church of Denmark still uses the phrase, We renounce the devil and all his doings and all his beings, as the beginning of this creed, before the line, We believe in God, etc. This is mostly due to the influence of the Danish pastor Grundtvig. See Den Apostolski Trosbekendels. <laughs> United Methodist Church the United Methodists commonly incorporate the Apostles' Creed into their worship services. The version which is most often used is located at No. 881 in the United Methodist Hymnal, one of their most popular hymnals and one with a heritage to brothers John Wesley and Charles Wesley, founders of Methodism. It is notable for omitting the line, He descended into hell, but is otherwise very similar to the Book of Common Prayer version. The 1989 hymnal has both the traditional version and the 1988 ecumenical version, which includes, He descended to the dead. The United Methodist hymnal also contains at number 882 what it terms the ecumenical version of this creed which is the ecumenically accepted modern translation of the International Committee on English Texts 1975 as amended by the subsequent successor body, the English Language Liturgical Consultation 1987. This form of the Apostles' Creed can be found incorporated into the Eucharistic and baptismal liturgies in the hymnal and in the United Methodist Book of Worship, and hence it is growing in popularity and use. The word, Catholic, is intentionally left lowercase in the sense that the word Catholic applies to the universal and ecumenical Christian Church. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ his only Son our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried, the third day he rose from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty, from thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. <laughs> Liturgical use in Western Christianity the liturgical communities in Western Christianity that derive their rituals from the Roman Missal, including those particular communities which use the Roman Missal itself Roman Catholics, the Book of Common Prayer Anglicans and Episcopalians, Evangelical Lutheran Worship Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, Lutheran Service Book Lutheran Church Missouri Synod, and the United Methodist Book of Worship the United Methodist Church, use the Apostles' Creed and interrogative forms of it in their rites of baptism, which they consider to be the sacrament of initiation in into the Church. Topic: Catholic Church. Topic. Topic: Rite of Baptism. Topic. An interrogative form of the Apostles' Creed is used in the Rite of Baptism for both children and adults. The Minister of Baptism asks the following questions ICEL, 1974 Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? To each question, the catechumen, or, in the case of an infant, the parents and sponsors godparents in his or her place, answers, I do. Then the celebrant says, This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it, in Christ Jesus our Lord, and all respond, Amen. Topic. Profession of faith at Mass Topic. Since the 2002 edition, the Apostles' Creed is included in the Roman Missal with the indication, instead of the Niceno-Constantinopolitan Creed, especially during Lent and Easter time, the baptismal symbol of the Roman Church, known as the Apostles' 
Creed, may be used. Previously the Nicene Creed was the only profession of faith that the Missal gave for use at Mass, except in Masses for children, but in some countries use of the Apostles' Creed was already permitted. Use in the Divine Office in the 1962 breviary, authorized by Summorum Pontificum, the Apostles' Creed is recited at Prime and Compline on certain days during Advent and Lent as part of the presses, a series of versicles and responses preceded by Kyrie, a liaison, Lord, have mercy, and the Our Father. In prior editions, it was also said after the Our Father and Hail Mary before Matins and Prime, and after Compline. Topic. Anglican Communion. Topic. The Apostles' Creed is used in the non-Eucharistic services of Matins and Evening Prayer Evensong. It is invoked after the recitation or singing of the canticles, and it is the only part of the services in which the congregation traditionally turns to face the altar, if they are seated transversely in the choir. Topic. Episcopal Church United States. Topic. The Episcopal Church uses the Apostles' Creed as a baptismal covenant for those who are to receive the rite of baptism. Regardless of age, candidates are to be sponsored by parents or godparents. Youths able to understand the significance of the rite may go through the ritual speaking for themselves. Younger children and infants rely on their sponsors to act upon their behalf. 1. The celebrant calls for the candidates for baptism to be presented. 2. The catechumen or sponsors state their request for baptism. 3a. If the catechumen is of age, the celebrant will ask him or her if he or she desires baptism, to which the catechumen will respond, I do. 3b. If the candidate relies on sponsors, the celebrant asks them if they will raise the child in the Christian faith and life, ECUSABCP, and will raise the child through prayers and witness to grow into the full stature of Christ to which the parents will state to each, I will, with God's help. 4. A series of questions is then asked, to which the reply is always, I renounce them. Do you renounce Satan and all the spiritual forces of wickedness that rebel against God? Do you renounce the evil powers of this world which corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? Do you renounce all sinful desires that draw you from the love of God? 5. The second half of the query is asked, to which the reply is always, I do. Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your Savior? Do you put your whole trust in his grace and love? Do you promise to follow and obey him as your Lord? 6. The Apostles' Creed is then recited by candidates, sponsors and congregation, each section of the creed being an answer to the celebrant's question. Do you believe in God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit? Topic: Lutheran Church. Topic: Lutherans following the Lutheran Service Book, Lutheran Church Missouri Synod and the Lutheran Church Canada, like Roman Catholics, use the Apostles' Creed during the sacrament of baptism. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried? He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting? Following each question, the candidate answers by saying, Yes, I believe. If the candidate is a child, the godparents are to answer the questions. For Elka Lutherans who use the Evangelical Lutheran Worship Book, the Apostles' Creed appears during the Sacrament of Holy Baptism Rite on p. 229 of the hardcover pew edition. Topic. Methodism Topic. Methodists use the Apostles' Creed as part of their baptismal rites in the form of an interrogatory addressed to the candidates for baptism and the whole congregation as a way of professing the faith within the context of the Church's sacramental act. 
For infants, it is the professing of the faith by the parents, sponsors, and congregation on behalf of the candidates. For confirmants, it is the professing of the faith before and among the congregation. For the congregation, it is a reaffirmation of their professed faith. Do you believe in God? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, do you believe in Jesus Christ? I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again, He ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of the Father, and will come again to judge the living and the dead, do you believe in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. See also Nicene Creed Chalcedonian Creed Lutheran Book of Worship Virgin Birth of Jesus Passion of Jesus one, Holy, Catholic, and Apostolic Church Topic. Notes Topic. Topic. References Topic. Topic. Further reading Topic. Kannada, Raymond F., Rei Tano, Joshua D. 2013, Rooted, The Apostles' Creed, Oro Valley, As, Dulos Resources, ISBN 978-1-937063-92-4 Lachman, Jan Millick Apostles' Creed. In Fallbush, Irwin, Encyclopedia of Christianity, 1, Grand Rapids, W. M. B. Eerdmans, pp. 109-10, ISBN 0-8028-2413-7 External links Latin Wikisource has original text related to this article, Symbolum Apostolicum Asterisk. Audio recordings and texts of the Apostles' Creed and other Christian prayers with text and approximative transliteration to Latin alphabet. Street. Thomas Aquinas' explanation about the Twelve Articles of Faith of the Apostles' Creed. Archived from the original on June 20, 2015. Retrieved August 18, 2018. English translations the full text of Apostles' Creed at Wikisource. Roman Catholic Translation. Catechism of the Catholic Church. Rome, IT. Retrieved June 21, 2005.